Ahead of today's press conference by the Indian Air Force Chief, a video was released to the media at the conference, which showed combat capabilities of the Indian Air Force, and in a big surprise, the video shows an Astra Mark II air-to-air -air missile launched from an ejector launcher of a Su-30 fighter jet. The footage is from the Free Fall Project Tree testing that was conducted few months ago, to predict release trajectories of the Astra Mark II, while the first test firing is expected in early 2023. The RDO's Armament Research and Development Establishment has successfully developed and installed a 10 MJ electromagnetic railgun for further testing, and by using this facility, hypervelocity propulsion of more than 2 km per second has been achieved. The DRDO plans to develop a 100 MJ electromagnetic railgun ground-based system, that will be carried out at a dedicated infrastructure facility which is currently under construction. It can launch an 18 kg projectile at a speed of 2 km per second from a fixed firing stand, and it will be suitable for large caliber guns and medium range guns of 100 km to 400 km. The DRDO has started development of a new highly sophisticated laser threat detecting system for armored fighting vehicles. The system will comprise of four sensors that will be mounted on the turret of armored vehicles, that will offer 360 degree coverage, and detect threats from 6 km range from laser range finders, laser target designators and laser munition guiding beams. The display screens and control units will be mounted next to the commander's console, and will issue an audio and visual warning to the crew, and will classify the type of threat and allow the crew to take countermeasures like smoke grenades to obscure the vehicle and move to a different location. The Defence Ministry has granted acceptance of necessity for the procurement of man-portable mini-remotely piloted aircraft systems under by Indian category. The Indian Army will procure eight units, that will be used for surveillance and observation of artillery fire in high-altitude areas. It must not have an all-up weight more than 15 kilograms, and a range not less than 15 kilometers, and can be launched and recovered from unprepared area of not more than 50 by 50 meters. The top brass of the Indian Navy will soon be approaching the Finance Division in the Ministry of Defense, to seek special provisions in the next year's Navy budget, that can be used to kickstart pre Phase 1 activities to develop a 65,000-ton aircraft carrier that can accommodate more deck-based fighter jets. The Warship Design Bureau will get the seed money to progress upon the design of a new aircraft carrier, as full-fledged program funding will take time. An Indian delegation under the umbrella of Society of Indian Defense Manufacturers have concluded their visit to the U.S., that comprised of representatives from a number of companies including MKU Limited Idea Forge Technologies Larson and Tubro and New Space Research and Technologies Private Limited. The Indian delegation held interactions with the U.S. Department of Defense, National Defense Industrial Association, and also Boeing, to further enhance the defense cooperation, trade in military hardware, mutual port visits by naval ships, and co-production and co-development of military systems. The newly appointed Chief Nodal Officer of UP Defense Industrial Corridor Former Indian Air Force Chief Air Marshal RKS Baduria visited Brahmo's headquarters, and met with the CEO of Brahmo's Aerospace, and discussed the new under construction production facility of Brahmo's NG missile, and other aspects of Brahmo's development activities at Lucknow. He also assured full guidance and support for establishment of the new facility in the proposed time frame. <laughs> Oh, my God.